play hard, grind hard, stay hard, no, we stay out, make your head out, but I just can't stop, won't stop hustling, but I just... What up, Grandis and Granddads? It's your boy, The Black Abstract. You're locked in once again. I appreciate you. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell for your boy. So what we're going to be talking about today is, uh, well, we know what we're going to be talking about today. The big news is obviously the Quavo and Sweetie situation, as well as uh, the Migos versus uh, Justin LaBoy, uh, as well as KD versus Michael Rampenport and... Um, all right, well, let's get into it. All right, now, if you haven't seen the video of the Quavo and Sweetie situation, I have just posted it a couple of hours ago. Just pause this, go down, watch that, come back to this. Uh, I'm not going to post it again. Um, so if you, haven't, if you haven't seen it or if you're not watching it or if you have seen it, I should say, uh, they got into an uh, altercation inside an elevator uh, reminiscent of the Jay-Z salon situation. Uh, but um, so what, if you look at the video closely, you see Saweetie swinging off on Quavo. And Quavo is uh, he blocks it. He got good reflexes, by the way. He blocks the swing and um, pulls her in the elevator. It looked like she's trying to run with his luggage of some sort, some piece of luggage. He kind of grabs it, grabs her, pushes her in the elevator, uh, kind of restrains her. Um, she falls, and then he's standing there. And we, we can't really hear. We don't have no context to what's going on. What I've seen on uh, social media and whatnot is that he's an abuser. He beat her up. He didn't beat her up. He didn't do a Ray Rice. If you look at the Ray Rice video, if you don't know who that is, he's a ex-football player who got into altercation with his wife in the elevator and knocked her out cold and then wind up carrying her body out the elevator. Just go watch that. Uh, this situation isn't that we don't have context, so we really can't tell what's going on or what's being said. Uh, and I know one thing that damn double standard, because if he would have swung off on her and it was a reverse, he'd be all, everything in the book. He didn't even physically hit her and he's still everything in the book. Uh, while I don't agree with putting your hands on women in no sort of sense. Um, it seemed like he was trying to maybe restrain her. Uh, maybe he should have just walked away. I think that might have just been the best option. Um, I'm not the type of person that gets... I don't engage with females. If if I see them displaying any kind of uh, uh, feminine masculinity, where they're trying to be aggressive, I'm out. That's just, that's just not something I deal with. I think he should have followed suit. Uh... And, you know, he could have been all that. This could be a publicity stunt. A lot of people say that, you know. This works. This works on how did this, this video mysteriously get released out of thin air? You know what I'm saying? It just seems a little fishy. Uh, but I don't condone a, a man putting his hands on women in, in, in any kind of way. Um, I don't know if he was able to handle this differently. Um, but, hey, who am I to judge? You know, you know what they say, man. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, you think Quavo was wrong? Uh, you think Sweetie was wrong? Um, she did swing off on him. Uh, I do commend him for not swinging or hitting her back uh, that we seen. But uh, who knows what happened afterwards. Uh, but now, let's move on. Let's move on. I want to know what you guys think about it. Do you consider this abuse? Do you consider this... Um, you consider this just him trying to, I guess, de-escalate the situation by trying to restrain her? Uh, do you think he should have helped her up? A lot of people said that. He should have helped her up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Post in the comments below. All right, now moving along uh, is the Justin LaBoy versus Migo situation. Um, this, this seems just like it might just be a rumor. I uh, haven't seen any physical evidence of this. I uh, haven't heard any reports. Um, for anybody that was specifically there that saw it, it's just hearsay right now. He hasn't come on and said anything. Um, if this is true, this will fall in line with Quavo being a simp and a beta male, which I think he is, and is uh, kind of lame. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Justin LeBoy is, he. I mean, he. I see what he does. He. I see his whole game plan, so I can't knock him for... And it wasn't his fault in the interview that your girl was 
saying what she said. You know what I mean? It's not his fault. You can't. So why are you hitting him? Or why you? If if this is true, this is a legend. But if it is true, let's just hypothetically say it is true. Lame as fuck. Like that's super lame. There's no other way to cut it. Like lame. Like you, what the fuck you hitting? You putting your hands on Cuz for it? Like he ain't getting mad at him for fucking doing his job he he the interviewer he asked a question she didn't have to answer it like that get mad at her uh i don't know but um let's move along um poorly uh according uh reportedly michael rapaport and kd got into a situation via a uh, dm and um <laughs> this was fucking hilarious dude uh if you know me man i I think Michael Rappaport is a little fucking weaselly little uh, Caucasian mutt. Uh, he pretends to be an ally, but I don't know. I think I, I see through that bullshit. Um, so let me. <laughs> so they got into a heated exchange. I'm trying to look it up right here. They got into a heated exchange via DM, and dude, I didn't know. I didn't know Katie had this type of language and <laughs> yo, he didn't care uh so this is what it says according to the bleacher report it says actor michael Rampport posted screenshots tuesday of a conversation between himself and kevin durant in which the brooklyn Nets star used homophobic uh misogynistic and profane language profane language toward the actor um he said on his twitter i received threats and this in disgusting messages daily but never in my wildest dreams did i think Katie would be among them. Uh, the Claw himself is now threatening me, bringing up my wife and wants to fight. This is supposed to be America's sweetheart, right? Nobody called Katie America's sweetheart. Shut the... This ain't LeBron. Uh, so, <laughs> this is what this says. Uh, Katie seemed deeply in his feelings with the NBA on TNT crew after the game. Damn it, he's super sensitive about everything. Don't do the interview. Katie said, you're a bitch. Uh, <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Like, yo, you're a bitch. Uh, Michael Rappaport responded, just do the fucking interview. And if you're upset about something they've said, say something up there. Look like you're going to cry and shit. <laughs> he talking like he went that smoke. He said, I did the interview, dickhead. Tell your baby daddy. Chuck <laughs> Tell your baby daddy Chuck to be better at his job. And frame his questions better. He gave me two options for that dumbass question. Yes or no. Uh, <laughs> Yo, he, this is fucking crazy. He said, I heard it all before you cunt. Chuck, Chuck doesn't need you as a security. You pale, pasty, cum guzzling bitch. <laughs> he said, I swear I'm going to spit in your face when I see your dirty ass. Bet your life on it. Meet me at meet me on West 17th tomorrow at 10. Or better yet, what's your address? 10 a.m. at Catch Steak on the corner. Meet me there, pussy. <laughs> Yo, he, KD wanted all the smoke, though. I respect it. Come on, KD. Rap Report responded. Go help the kids in Brownsville, Brooklyn, and stop being a fucking puss. KD said, you a bitch for even caring how I do an interview. All you do is cocksuck other men for attention. Trump didn't pay attention to your sorry ass. Now you want to use everybody else to give views and laughs. Your life is a joke, you fucking pale cocksucker. Go get some sun. It's fucking with your brain, piece of shit. Go to Bronzeville and help the people that need need it. Goofball, Michael uh, Rappaport responded. <laughs> and it just went on from there. And I, I never see KD talk like this. <laughs> this is quite entertaining if I do say so myself. Uh <laughs> but that's what Michael Rappaport gets. Fucking always in somebody's business, man. Clout chasing ass. Remy from higher learning looking at bitch. But um no, but all seriousness, no. You shouldn't talk about this, especially when you nah fuck that. He wanted to smoke, he got the smoke, and then he didn't want to smoke again. I'm down for this right here, man. Make sure y'all get some future trillionaire merch too, man. You see it? I am true. www.iamtrill.com. Iamtrill.com. Grab some uh, future trillionaire merch. All right, now, uh, what other topics we got? Let's see. 
Um, it's been a wild day so far, man. I know I'm a little late posting. Uh, let me see. I think that's it. Uh oh, hold on. Michael Strahan is trending. Oh, Michael Strahan got his gap fixed in his mouth. Oh, come on, Mike, you sell out. Uh, let me see. Salon. <laughs> So everything is trending of uh, elevator fights on Twitter. Ray Rice, Solange. <laughs> Yo, I hate black Twitter. Too. <laughs> oh, Little Nas X. Uh, so Little Nas X, you know the whole situation with the uh, the video he had. Um, that video is trash. I'm gonna just say it. That, that video is straight trash. It's trash. Um, and it's not the fucking... Listen, we know you gay, bro. Like, it's... We accepted it. We, it's nothing... It is what it is. Like, it's, it's normal. Like, you, you your sexuality is what you... Whatever you want it to be. But that satanic devil then... What is that? Like, why? How is that even cool? When has that ever been cool in the culture anywhere to 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 praise devil worship or just have satanic images dude that's not cool man especially as a young black man like what are you doing bro like that's not cool it's not cool the video was already you wanted some attention you would have got it from the other parts of the video you dress you got different you dressed as everybody in the joint i thought that was pretty clever i thought it was you know pretty um what's the word i'm looking for can't think right now but um it was definitely some next level shit but then you want to take an extra next level and you want to strip up stop bro and then you got santanic 666 sneakers like when this has never been cool in the culture like stop and i'm not a, i'm not like a religious person like i'm spiritual but i'm i don't go to church every sunday or bible i don't do that but like come on it's just like why you got kids that look up to you man my, my four-year-old daughter got to come up to me because I'm checking out the video, want to see it, and all of a sudden this pops up. What's that, daddy? And I got to break this down. Like, stop. Stop it. You know, luckily, I watched the video first before I even got a chance to show her it or play it in front of them. So, yeah, but she won't be watching that. And it's, and it's I feel like you alienating a certain group of fans because... People accept you. Uh, they commend you for coming out, um, you know, as a uh, as a gay man. And then now you, what are you saying? You're a devil worshiper or something? No, I'm like, what is this? Like, I don't know. And I understand your fans going to defend you because that's what they're supposed to do. They ride for you. But, bro, just take accountability. Like, just be like, yo, you know what? Oh. And then you get into it with Joyner Lucas. Whoa. Well, Old Town Road was a song about lean and you get shut the fuck up, dude. Stop. Stop. This is shit that made me want to just put you in a headlock and fucking body slam you, nigga. Shut up with this dumb shit. Just be like, yo, you know what? I apologize. Or yo, you know what? My bad. I'm gonna come out with an edited version or something. I don't fucking know. But uh that's it. That's all I got for tonight. Uh make sure you post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Till next time, peace, love, and prosperity. Oh, one more story. I forgot somebody ran up in Drake House with a knife. Some crazy chick ran up in Drake House with a knife. Uh, luckily, nobody was hurt. Uh, security stopped the lady before the incident. Um, word on the street that it was uh, an ex-young money artist. No, I'm just playing. I just made that up. But yeah, luckily, nobody was hurt. But they ran up in the mansion with a knife trying to get some action. Uh but post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Till next time, peace, love, and prosperity. I am the Black Abstract. One.